Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. So in this session, we'll see like how to convert HAR file to a K6 load test script. That means I think, uh, so if you wanted to uh, do a load test of your website, you must capture all kinds of scenarios and uh, you know the request and put it into some single file. And then you need to write a K6 script for that if you wanted to run your K6 load testing. But there is an other uh, way of converting the complete HAR file to load test script file using HAR to K6 package. So now we will see that how to install that and then how to use that to convert into a HAR file to K6 load test script file, right? So I'm clicking it into my Visual Studio IDE. So before that, I just wanted to uh, tell you the commands, right? So these are the commands we are going to use it to install the uh, har related package using npm so npm install minus g har to k6 then you uh, type and install this so you will get the har to k6 package in your system so by using har to k6 you can simply use a second command here you need to mention the har file path sorry it's not a patch it's a path and then minus wo or iphone wo and load test js that means you are load test script so that it will completely you know uh, convert and uh, uh, keep all the uh, results into an output path name you are mentioned here is load test.js so you create a load test.js based on how well you are mentioning it here okay let me see that how it is going to uh, you know do that so before that i need to have a hard file right so for that what i'm doing is i'm going to open some website here uh let me quickly open some website oh so um, anything anything you can do that right it's not about okay so i'll just open my dev toolbar right i'll make sure that i should check this preserve log and keep this record on right and refresh again it is and then navigate through whatever you know things you want to do here like you know kind of domains protocols you just navigate to some links here and some other uh, hyperlinks navigation and also you can click on some overview and this way i think you just navigate to your website based on scenario and then finish out right back to your dev toolbar and you can see all the network traffic being captured in network tab so by looking at here, just right click and choose save all as hard content. So I'm going to save this right into my, you know, K6 load test. So where is that? Let me come here. Chain K6, verify, demo API, yep. Show K, K6. Okay. Fine. Let me save here. Later we'll move that. So example dot hat. So when I save that, just close this, right? I don't need again. I don't want this again. I, I don't want. I don't want this because I just already captured it and saved it. I'm going to here my Visual Studio Coder, right? And I can see that. So just refresh. So here you can see example dot hat, right? This file basically creating a JSON with all your navigator links here, navigator request. These are all the navigator requests. So far you uh, made to example.com website. So these are the requests. You just navigated domains and examples and couple of uh, domains resort and domains uh, resort, 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 and other stuff. So all this stuff being you know, recorded, right? All the other, you know, logos and headers and the other requests right so now fine now i want you to convert this hard file you know into my load test script so how to do that so as i mentioned if you want to convert complete hard file to your k6 load test script you make sure that you need to install right uh, g har to k6 right right I think it's already there. Minus G had to K6, right? 
So it will look into my system and if it is there, it will update, otherwise it will start installing it, right? So it is again checking that and it is starting to install it here. If it is not there, it will try to install it. That's okay, no problem. Now it is installing and it is successfully installed. So no zero uh, vulnerabilities, so I'm just changing it. Now hard 2k6, right? Okay, this, yeah, it's installed now. 0.13.1 version was installed. And you can see the options here, um, hyphen O or hyphen hyphen output. And then you mention the output file. Then it will convert your hair file to that file. Okay, so they mentioned optionally load test.js by default it's taking it. If you wanted to uh, give an, your own specific file, you can give it. Okay, so uh, that's what I mentioned here also. So, okay, hard to K6 and R file path and minus row and the target file. So now uh, hard to six, right? The path of hair file, mm, where is that? Example dot hair minus row and example half. Example has code dot this. When I give this, it will convert it Right, it's simple, it, it did not take much time, it's automatically converted. You go and see here, now you can see all this stuff. So, imported automatically from K6 HTTP, and the constant options kept as calling and empty, and export default. Basically, these two are the prerequisite for to run K6 load test, right? One thing was they kept as empty, and optionally, they mentioned that if you want, you can mention there like how many virtual users you wanted to run, and what is the duration, and how many iterations you wanted to run through that's that's that 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 that, 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 that section they have given as empty because it is up to the developer the person who are running the k6 load test now this default function name and then they've created some kind of stock video all your urls by taking from her file and they put it some headers and responses etc 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 right so far i think they have added even sleep command also for king time right so now, only thing is we have to run this. K6 run example k6.js. When I run this, it will start executing all your navigated scenario of example.com website. So see here, all this stuff is running. So many requests it has been example domains domains root root processes domains these are the main pages you have been navigated so they have, they have been uh, uh major uh, no the prime pages instead of that i think they might have different pages but it has been only um picked up the main pages here and they were you know given metrics here like you know what how much data this you know how much data it has sent and failure requests right and the Kind of iterations and virtual users, etc., etc., etc. So, what what I mean to say was, it's very simple to convert the complete website traffic or the scenario-based navigations, which a user is doing that into a K6 load test script, simply using hard to K6 package, right? So, and then you, I can, I, I think again, the, the default procedure is same, like running of K6 run or running um, cloud K6 cloud. Then if you want to make uh, use of a uh, saving the logs into a physical file, just use uh, hyphen hyphen output hyphen file. That's all the commands are as usual. Now, only thing was you have to use R to six and make sure that is installed already. Okay. So I hope you understand how to convert hard file to K6 and then how to run that. Thanks for lis listening to this video and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.